Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh-oh. I accidentally switched the camera. <laughs> I'm over here trying to fix the camera, and I'm making it go all crooked here. All right. I think that's good. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing good. Sorry for my little camera switch there a second ago. Just trying to hide the base out of the live feed so you guys can focus just on the nails. It's going to be in there just a little bit tonight. I don't know what's going on. My setup is usually pretty perfect, but tonight it's a little bit off. All right, that's okay. Hi, Gabrielle. Hi, Erin. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Ashley from Jacksonville, Florida. We are in Merritt Island, Florida currently. I hope everybody is doing good. Deborah from Northern Virginia. I'm driving back there tomorrow. <laughs> oh, man. Everyone thinks this is your hand. <laughs> oh, that's not my <laughs> hand. That's my <laughs> sister's hand. She got a new tap, but so did I. <laughs> She got a little snaky snake, which is cute. Still healing, so it's a little scabby. Yeah, we're both still healing. We went and got them together. Hi, Clarissa. Yeah, we both got new tats. All right, ladies, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Tonight, we are gonna be doing a tie-dye nail. Um, not like the crazy tie-dye that you would see like on a t-shirt but just the tie-dye that you would do with a dip powder so it's really really cute I'm gonna show you we didn't shine coat her other hand just yet but you guys can see like it is super cute it's such a fun mani really fun for the beach summer springtime like just really awesome so my sister Caitlin, her nails have already been prepped, but really quickly, I'm just gonna go through what I would do without actually doing it, just so you guys are aware of how to properly prep your nails. So I'm gonna move the colors out of the way and we'll come back to those and I'll tell you what I'm gonna be working with. And before I forget, I almost totally forgot, um, tonight's $12.99 color is Peppy Pink. It is already listed for sale on the website, so make sure you grab it. It's only on sale while we are live, and the color is Peppy Pink. So let me show her other hand real quick. You guys can see it's a nice, pretty, just summertime, springtime, or anytime pink if you love pink. So real quick, we're going to go over what we would do for prep. So her nails have already been prepped and ready to go. So what we like to do, especially when we're going for a long wear, is we like to take our drill and we like to use this like really tiny cone shaped looking drill bit. I don't know what the actual name of this particular one is called, but it's really small kind of cone shaped. We like to take that because it's nice and fine and just kind of go really gently at a very low speed right around the cuticle and what this does is it takes off all that overgrown cuticle on the nail bed and it helps to secure the product to your nails to prevent lifting. So again, I'll show you nice and close. We just go really gently right around the cuticle. And we don't do this necessarily every time because nail health is very important, but when we are going for long wear for two, three, maybe even four weeks in some situations, we will go just like that, right around the cuticle. Then we will take a very used up buffer, which we love to save, just a really raggedy, jagged up buffer that's been overused because it's gentle and less abrasive to the nail bed, and just lightly go over the rest of the nail. And what this does is it provides texture for the product to grab onto and last for two to three weeks. So very important. Prior to all of this, we're of course washing our hands with Dawn dish soap, filing and shaping the nails, and then we're getting into those two methods that I just showed you there. So very important, after you wash your hands, you let your nails dry. They are porous, they hold moisture. So you just wanna make sure they're dry. That is a secret cause of lifting that um, a lot of people don't realize. So just make sure they're dry wash your hands, Dawn dish soap, removes the oil, 
Do all your file and shaping, your cuticle, and then again, a light buff on the nail. And then by then, at that point, you're ready to go. If you have oily nails before you do your cuticle and before you buff them, just give your nails a nice swipe with acetone and it'll really dry it out while you're waiting. Um, everybody is asking the color I am wearing today is Havana Nights. I couldn't remember there for a second. I put this on last Thursday or Friday. I did post a picture in the group, but that is what I'm wearing today. Havana Nights, how to bring out my fall vibes. So again, the sale color tonight is peppy pink. And if we hit 800 viewers tonight, cause we're only about 150 away and I know we can do it. I will give one of these peppy pinks away. And then we're also for the tie dye going to be working with resting beach face and spring it on. So we're going to have like a nice little cotton candy, uh, watercolor thing or tie dye thing going on here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So make sure you guys hang on to that information about nail prep. It's super important and it will definitely change the game and how long you wear your peppy cure. So my angle is like, I'm so thrown off because I haven't done anybody's nails on the live in so long. <laughs> All right, so I'm going and taking my number one and I'm using just a very thin amount of liquid on the brush. As you can see, it looks like hardly anything is on the brush. And then I'm gonna go ahead and swipe it on the nail, avoiding the skin around the nail bed and the cuticle. We're actually only gonna go about I don't know, 80 to 90% up the nail on the first go round. While using your number one, it's very important to completely avoid the bottle rim and the bottle neck from getting liquid like in those areas. So it's very important to make sure the brush avoids contact up here and on the side. This is an adhesive, so if you're not careful, you will glue your bottle shut. So just like if you're using any type of glue in the world, like you will glue your bottle shut. So just be very careful and remember to use the inside wiper and to never wipe on the bottle rim or the bottle neck like you would a normal polish. Very important. So again, I'm using just a very small amount of liquid, a small amount of number one, spreading it about 90% up the nail because we want it to be thin in the end finish around the cuticle, and then just dipping into the powder. And as you guys can see, I'm getting a very smooth, clean dip. And that's all because of the control that I have in the liquid that I'm using. Okay, just a small amount and then dip. We're gonna do this a total of three times. I am going to do, as you can see, all of the solid colored nails before I dip into, or before I start my tie-dye nail. All right, and then we're just gonna dip right in. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the tie-dye nail. I'm going to use all three colors. And just to repeat, if I'm in the frame, I don't think I am. Just to repeat what I'm using, I'm using Spring It On, Resting Beach Face, and Peppy Pink, which is on sale tonight for $12.99. I'm going to be using the one of the brushes from the Peppy Nail Art brush set that we have. Um, this one is really great for ombre or really great for the tie-dye method that we're about to do. So I am going to lay down a paper towel because I am a little bit messy with the tie-dye and I don't want it to be all over my board. So I'm just going to give it a nice little lay down real quick. So what's really fun about the watercolor method that we're about to do or the tie-dye method um, is you're kind of going to do the same like motions that you would ombre in terms of 
picking up powder on the brush and tapping it onto the nail. The fun part is though, you don't have to do any sort of pattern or move your nail in any sort of way because you're just trying to create like a blended effect. So you really just wanna spread the powder out and let, let it kind of do its thing on its own and, and see what happens in the end. On this nail, because it is the accent nail, I am gonna go all the way up to the cuticle, stopping a hairline prior to it, just because I am gonna be doing my three dips, but as a watercolor. So right now I'm just picking up peppy pink and I'm just kind of tapping it wherever it wants to go and just covering the nail. So you wanna move like a little bit fast because you don't want the number one to dry up before you finish it. But you just wanna cover your entire surface of the nail bed. And again, the point of this is to be a little bit sloppy. It doesn't matter the pattern or which direction your colors are going because you're just trying to create a blended effect. And then we're just gonna let it sit there for a second. As we work on the other nails, we're gonna go back through and do our second dip of Peppy Pink, which again is on sale for $12.99 tonight. So we're gonna take our duster brush. This is not included in the kit. It is an upgrade item. And if you don't wanna add it, you can use any cosmetic brush at home, but just make sure it's nice and clean. So we're gonna take the Peppy Duster brush and we're just gonna dust off that excess powder on our solid color nails before we move in into our second dip. This is very important because you have a lot of loose powder that sits on top of the nail bed that you don't want to get stuck onto your number one brush. So let's move this out of the way because it's ugly to look at. And now we're gonna go back in and again go into our second layer of peppy pink. This time we are going all the way up stopping a hairline before the cuticle, never on the cuticle. So always stop a hairline before the cuticle. If you get product on your cuticle, you're guaranteed to have lifting because there's gonna be a natural gap as your nails grow out. And we're just gonna repeat this process on all the fingers using a thin amount of liquid. Just remember you can always add more if you need to. You can't really take it away. So always start thin and add a little extra if you need it to spread. I find that I need to do that on myself personally with my middle fingers and my thumb fingers because they are wider. And then we're just gonna go ahead and dip. So who's grabbing themselves a peppy pink tonight? And are we gonna make it to 800? We're only 97 away. 97. So again, I'm just doing the same process on all of these fingers. Just applying a thin amount, I can't stress that enough. The thinner your liquid is, the more control you have over the end result. And then we're just gonna dip right in. And as you can see, like, it's applying very smooth, which means the buffing is gonna be very minimal once we get to that step. Peppy Pink is an awesome color. What is everybody's favorite color? I'm really into like the maroons, which I would wear them all the time if I could. <laughs> but you guys wanna see new colors. No, I'm just kidding. 
you would get tired of it. If it's your favorite color, I think you'd get tired of wearing it all the time. Maybe. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do our second round of tie-dye watercolor, whatever we're gonna call it today. And again, we're doing a thin amount of number one ready. And then we're gonna kind of sprinkle it a little bit quickly so it doesn't dry up before we finish. And you really just wanna like, just make a couple spots of each color to kind of create that blended effect. The second time you do the color, it doesn't have to match exactly how you did it the first time because as you go to buff it, it's gonna reveal some of that watercolor underneath. I like it because you can be a little bit sloppy with this one. It doesn't have to be like so precise, like if you were doing a traditional ombre. So we're gonna let that sit there, kind of do its thing, and we're gonna go into our third and final dip, but of course not without wiping off that excess powder on all of these nails. All right, am I in the frame? I can't tell. Yeah. Do you wipe off excess two and wait full two minutes before applying three? Yes. You wipe off your excess two with a paper towel, but that step is after this step, so I will walk through exactly how I do that. We're asking about SpaceX and Aura. They're coming back. Yes, they will be back in stock soon. All right, so this is our third and final dip. And again, we're stopping just a hairline before the cuticle. One little easy trick you can do, and I'll show you on this nail just so you can see it in action, is take an orange wood stick. After you dip your nail, if you feel like you wanna clean your cuticle up just a little bit, and just run it along the cuticle. Where did I put it? Oh gosh, it's all the way. Oh. <laughs> I was like, it's all the way over there. So you really just kinda of wanna push up on the cuticle and then run the stick across. And what that really does is it really makes sure, one, that your cuticle line is clean, and two, that you have zero product at all on your cuticle, so it's really gonna help with that longevity of your Peppy Cure. All right, so we're going in. This is our third and final dip on Peppy Pink. And sorry ladies, I'm not seeing all of your questions because I'm in painting the nails over here. <laughs> but I've seen a lot of comments lately where people just kind of want more tutorial and less chitter chatter. So let me know, honestly, like what do you guys like? Do you like more chitter chatter or just basic tutorials that get right to the point? All right, this is our third and final dip on that finger, on the thumb. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna do our final layer of watercolor tie-dye. I, I don't know, what do you guys say? I called it a tie-dye, but now when I look at it, I wanna call it watercolor. <laughs> Either way, it's still pretty. It's still good, right? Tie in. My dogs love to bark right during live. All right, so we're doing our third and final watercolor layer. And I wanna get a little more blue over here and I'm gonna go softer on the third layer. It doesn't need to be quite as heavy 
just kind of more of like a blending layer. Everyone's saying they like the tutorials more than like the chit chat. More tutorial, less chit chat. That's good because I'm not a good chit chatter anyways. <laughs> I'm a better tutorial person. <laughs> yeah. I never know what to talk about, to be honest. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of them are saying their dogs barked after yours did too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So again, on that third and final layer, I'm, I was looking more to just kind of do like a blended effect because sometimes if you're just plopping the powder onto the nail, you're going to see some of those lines. But if you do like a blended effect, you're gonna see like over here on this accent nail we already did, like it really just blends out and really creates that tie dye or watercolor effect that you're going for. So now we're gonna go ahead, wipe off all the excess powder on all the nails. But a lot of them are asking about like getting the other color into the other jar when you're sprinkling it. Oh, so when I do sprinkle, what I like to do is, I probably didn't do it on live to be honest, but what I usually do when I'm paying closer attention is after I do it, I usually do like a little wipe and it kind of cleans the brush off. I'm working with pastel colors this evening, so it wasn't like too bad in terms of like accidentally mixing the colors into the other jars. But if you're working with dark colors and light colors or you're working with glitters, then generally I would actually have a couple brushes out, one for the dark, one for the light, and one for the glitter. I'm not saying it's required, but it's definitely the safest way to prevent, you know, mixture into the jars. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our number two, and we're gonna apply it to all of the nails. You really want to make sure you get up in the cuticle and over here in the side walls of the nail bed and the tip. These are all the culprit areas for lifting. And what number two does is it seals it and solidifies it all together. So you really want to make sure that you get it and cover all those spaces so it doesn't lift up. So I also want to show you guys what I did too. So back in May, all right, so after we apply the number two, before I get ahead of myself, we have to sit and wait for about two minutes. So this is um, a little chit chat that I'm going to have with you guys really fast. I took, so back in May, we had our retro bottles out. We used to have these bottles like a couple years ago um, as one of our original bottles. And they were really great bottles. We loved them because they you could see through, you could see the level of your liquid, um, just really nice. But we switched to the newer bottles because the liquid can be light sensitive. So that's why we always say store it in a cool and dark place. That way the light is not entering your clear glass bottle. But also the brushes are just a tad short on them and these ones, they actually go all the way to the bottom, which is why we transferred over. So what I did today, because I have, you know, extra bottles here that were already getting low and these were low to the point where the brush was a little bit harder to touch. Like I could still reach it, but it, you know, I had to finagle it around and I didn't really want to deal with that. So I took these liquids over here because they were clean, they were not contaminated, and I dumped them into these bottles over here to fill them up. So just an idea, if you're using them, like again, these are really great bottles, and the reason we brought them back is because so many people requested it. Um, but if you're getting low and you want a way to like use it a little bit easier, you can dump them into your white bottles if you have some. Another option too is you can put a little bit like on something plastic, you know, on the side and kind of use your brush that way. So just wanted to give you guys that little tip because I did see some people ask about it in the group and I just wanted to share with you all what I did because it worked perfectly. Just be really careful when you transfer the number one and the number three because if it spills again on the bottleneck or rim, it's gonna glue your lid shut. So just be very, very careful if you do that. Fair warning. <laughs> so we're gonna give it another minute or so 
just to make sure um, that we're good because I probably talked for two minutes, but just to be sure. Um, replacement brushes will fit into the retro bottles, yes. Uh, Mandy, I love the idea of having both options, but realistically the white bottles are the better option because if somebody is not storing them correctly, the liquid is going to solidify. So we prevent that from happening by just providing a dark bottle. Alright, so we've been about two minutes, so now I am going to get my drill bit out. And if you guys want to know what drill I use, I have a couple recommendations um, that both myself and Maggie use in the group under the units tab. There's a couple drill options that we really like that we highly recommend. My favorite is the portable drill because I hate wires. <laughs> so I am just doing a really light smooth over. I'm not putting a lot of pressure onto her nails. I'm just kind of cleaning it up just a little bit. I'm actually going to spend the rest of the time using a buffer because I truly love the finish of a buffer over the drill bit. I just think it looks smoother and nicer in the end. If you are working with chunky glitters, Having a drill is definitely very handy because you have to do a little bit of extra cleanup on this. So I highly recommend taking a look at our drill recommendations in the Facebook group. And if you're not in the group, it's Peppy Gel Dip Powder Tips and Tricks. So as you guys can see, like the uh, tie dye is really starting to blend and look really pretty. people saying they just ordered Peppy Pink. Thank you. Peppy Pink's amazing and it's only on sale while we're live. As soon as live is over, it's not on sale. You gotta wait till next week to see what the other, another color is gonna be. Shelly, this is the bell drill. So again, the color Peppy Pink is on sale for $12.99 only while I'm live, which is about another, I don't know, a few minutes because we're getting close to being done. So if you want one, you better grab it. Someone, I didn't see what the name was, but someone asked about how to do a matte finish. A matte finish. So you can use any drugstore matte top coat you want. Or you can, after you buff them, you can kind of leave them as that, but you're gonna lose a little bit of strength by not having your number three on there because it is a very like solid um, step in the peppy here. So there, there are a couple options that you can do, or you can put your number three on and find a really like gentle buffer and kind of buff the number three away and it'll recreate a matte look, but it, you'll still have a little bit of that number three under there. The drill bit I just used to, file down the nails a little bit is this one here just so you guys can see I use the bell drill tonight but there are like I put three um, really good ones in the group that we have used and we all have on hand and they're really really nice so now I'm gonna take a buffer we really do like to use our used buffers just because like they're a little bit less abrasive and really just give a nice smooth finish. So that's why we always hold on to them and we never throw them away. Brianna, no, you don't have to have an electric drill. An electric drill, you can just use buffers and nail files. Yeah, you can use the buffer that comes in your starter kit. We also sell extras on the website as well. And we really didn't take that much off with the drill. We just did a really quick kind of smooth over and now we're gonna finish it with a buffer. So you can definitely just do a little bit extra buffing, but once you get your dipping down, 
you know, pretty good. And it's gonna take several practices. Like you're not, your first dip is never gonna be perfect. And maybe your second and third might not be either. But once you get like laying the liquid down nice and smooth, like your powder is gonna adhere nice and smooth. So it's gonna really give you less buffing to do in the end. I mean, some people do it to where they don't buff at all which I think we could get away with even on this one, but honestly, like, I don't feel right if I don't buff, no matter how smooth I dipped. Yeah. And always keep the purple side of the buffer to your cuticle because it's a nice, soft, foaming side versus a sandpapery side that will eat your cuticle up during buffing. Tiffany is wearing Havana Nights. Yes. It's one of our recent releases that we have. If you're looking for fall colors, I highly recommend adding that one. Oops. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and buff Samantha, the sale tonight is Peppy Pink for $12.99. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and take the Peppy Duster brush again and get all that excess off. And now we're going to take the nail file. I highly, highly recommend the banana nail files that we have on our website. I am not in the um, home peppy office at the moment, so I am working with what my mom has on hand, which is this file. It's very similar because it has like a little bit of curvature here, but the banana files curve, you know, more like a banana. So it's really easy to like glide and groove into your nails so you can really get that desired shape that you want at the end. So Caitlin already shaped her nails prior to live. So all I'm going to do is just give it a touch up. So she keeps the shape that she desires in the end. After you do your nails, after you dip your nails, sorry, into the powder, you're really gonna want to just touch up your shape, but it's very important to do your primary shaping prior to dipping, just because touching up is a lot easier than trying to redo the whole thing after you dip. I really love the accent now, it came out really cute. Yeah, it is cute. And. Doing the tie-dye or the water mar marble color is so much fun, ladies, because it's truly one of the one times when you do peppy that imperfection is really what you're going for to create that look. Everyone's raving about the banana files. <laughs> yeah, the banana files are so awesome. I wish I had one right now because it'd be a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies. So again, I'm just really just touching up her shape that she already has here just because the powder can kind of change that just a wee bit after you dip. So I'm just kind of really just going around the edges and just smoothing it out. Ashley said the accent now reminds her of California. Oh, uh, yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> Kelly says she learns something new in every line, even after being a peppy babe for over two years. Oh. Uh. If I'm not teaching something, then I'm not doing my job. Like, I I feel like, I don't know. I Like I said earlier, I'm just not a big, like, chitter-chatter person because I just never know what to talk about. And whoever's been following us for a long time will really know that about me. But I'm just, I'm really into just teaching Peppy Gel because, 
you know, it really does take a minute to kind of learn it. And once you learn it, it's super, super easy, but it really just, you have to learn like the bottle care, how the liquids work together. And like, if you don't learn that and understand that, you're really gonna mess up like your system. So if I'm not helping you prevent that from happening, then I'm not doing a good job. So I'm really, really just, I'm really into that. Like just making sure you guys are getting the max out of your system. All right, so we are gonna take our number two set and we're going to apply it one more time. This time I'm gonna go a little bit lighter in how much I apply. I wanna do just enough to cover the nail, but not too much. The goal this time is to have it almost fully absorb into the nail so it can cure the number three. But if you over apply it, then it's not gonna cure the proper way. So the most important thing basically to understand is your number two is what cures your entire system. So the first time we use it, it was to cure the powder and the number one ready together. This time it's to cure the number three to make it dry. This is why you don't have to use a gel like UV lamp. So again, I'm just doing a nice light layer. I'm not drenching the nails. I'm doing just enough to cover them and to almost fully absorb in a two minute period into the product that's already on the nail. And you do wanna make sure you get your tips too. So at this point, we have to wait two minutes. Two minutes is very important because that's how long it's going to take to basically absorb into the nails and be ready to do its job when we apply the number three. Thank you, Maria. Brianna, I'm glad that helped, girl. Uh, Melody, Peppy, Pink, if you like a very, very pink nail for the neutral <laughs> part, then yeah, it would work. Um, but if you want like neutral, I would go with French pink or first kiss, something like that. Thank you, Tasha. Thank you, Alicia. Oh no, Cynthia almost dipped her number one into the powder. That's not good. All right, so I have another minute to wait before we can go ahead and start applying the number three. At about the minute mark, I like to take a plain paper towel, like just a very, no designs or anything on it, and just wipe off that excess number two residue onto the nails. This is very important because like I just mentioned, your number two is the curing agent of the entire system. So if you're not removing that residue as you use your number three, your brush is going to get hard. So if you've ever wondered, why is my number three shine brush getting hard? It's because of the residue from the number two. So wiping, your nails prior to starting number three is the first important step. And here in about 20 seconds, I'm gonna tell you what the next important steps are into getting the best shine and avoiding a contaminated brush. Um, Deb, you can rewatch it after the live is over. It'll let you rewatch from the very beginning. And again, ladies, the color that is on sale tonight is Spring It On, which is the pink color that you see. It's a little bit brighter in person than on camera, um, but it is the color on sale, and it's only going to be on sale for about five more minutes. You mean peppy pink? Peppy pink, what did I say? You said Spring It On. Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> peppy pink. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. It's been two minutes. So we're gonna use our number three, same bottle care as the number one. Don't let the brush touch the rim or the neck. We're gonna do two to three very quick strokes with the number three, and then we're gonna wipe the brush on the paper towel. What that's doing is eliminating that residue from number two from going back into your number three bottle. Quick strokes is very, very important. 
If you go too slow, you're allowing too much nail to brush contact. And what happens is your number three brush is absorbing that number two, and that's why your brush is getting hard. So on your second round, you can continue to wipe your brush if you want, you don't need to. You can overlap your layers this time and then seal your free edge. Very important to seal, seal that free cap. Can't talk. <laughs> All right, ladies. And that is what a shiny finished Peppy Cure looks like. So very important. I'm just gonna tell you again one more time. Same bottle care as your number one. Don't get that liquid up there because it'll glue itself shut. Come, it's not regular polish where you want to wipe. You want to use the inside wiper to pull off that excess liquid. Two to three quick strokes on the first layer of number three. Don't overlap them because if you're overlapping them, all you're doing is smearing around that number two residue. So two to three quick strokes, wipe on a paper towel, dip into your bottle, do the next nail, so on, so on. Immediately come back and do your second coat of number three. But that's it, nice and easy. And you guys can see the finished product. Hold it up like, no, you can't see. There you go. <laughs> All right, so now you guys can see Caitlin's finished Peppy Cure for the evening. And that accent nail is everything summer right now. And just so you guys can see one more time, I have on Havana Nights. I know quite a few of you guys asked. Uh, Peppy Pink is very pink. The lighting is not the greatest this evening. It's reflecting, it's making it look a little bit paler than it actually is. It's a little bit, a tad brighter than what you're seeing, but it's definitely pink. All right, ladies, another minute or so and her nails are gonna be dry. Yeah, Havana Nights, you have to have that. Everybody loves Caitlin's nails. These are Caitlin's natural nails, by the way. Uh, mystery boxes will ship within the next week or so. Um, we used to go live on Thursdays, but we found that doing just live on Tuesday actually works out perfect for us. So we only go live once a week currently. Hope everybody is loving it. So I do have to shine up Caitlin's other hands. So I can actually do that on live really quick. Just so for anybody struggling with the number three, we can um, wait a minute. <laughs> Caitlin says never mind because she has to go to bed. <laughs> All right, we'll do it another time, it's okay. Caitlin is in cosmetology school and she has to get up really early. This is her first week back after quarantining, so yeah. you, as you guys can imagine, it's a long day for her. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are gonna sign off for this, this evening. If you want Peppy Pink, you better hurry up and grab it because I'm about to go turn the sale off on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, my name is Tiffany. You can find me in the group or peppygel at gmail.com. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.